Okay. Um, hello, everybody. I am doing my final research presentation on my personal favorite artist, Matthew McCormick. Um, I really enjoyed taking this class, and I'm really excited to get to talk to you guys about and tell you a little bit more about my favorite artist today. So a little bit about Matthew McCormick. So Matt McCormick is an American multimedia artist who creates installation and uh, canvas art pieces inspired by the American West and Midwest whilst putting a modern switch onto the old, almost conflicting culture of cowboys and the Wild West. Um, he's very obsessed with the idea of just um, kind of what went on in the cowboy days. And um, overall, his works give a sense of nostalgia, which um, he creates through ideas influenced by the so-called American dream or like classic blue collared workers and everything almost from anywhere from 1950s to 60s America. So Matt McCormick has a very, very distinct art style. Um, I think this is what originally draw, drew me to him as an artist. Um, he kind of appeared to me on social media I was scrolling and saw one of his art pieces and was immediately hooked. And I was like, I need to know who this guy is. Um, I think that's partially because I am a very comfort person. I strive for things that give me a sense of childhood and also just like the past. I love to be connected to the past. And that's exactly what he gets through his art styles. Um, so a lot of his styles comes from his child in the mid childhood in the Midwest and obsessions over cowboy culture. Um, he stated in an interview that this all kind of started with um, commercials he saw with the Marble Marlboro Man, um, and he um, from this commercial as well as watching movies with like Clint Eastwood and just old Wild West movies with his father, gave him what he believed uh, to be almost like a true sense of um, what manhood for him, what he wanted manhood for him to look like. Um, he found cowboys very interesting um, as they kind of just uh, were hardened by the elements and able to defend themselves and support themselves with their bare hands, which I, he kind of wanted to do. And also just like overall, the deep rooted symbolism of what a cowboy embodies. Um, as I mentioned, hit this started kind of with the Marlboro Man. Um, and because of this, he used to smoke two packs of Marlboro Reds a day um, for years, just because he wanted to be tough like the cowboys that smoked them and I think you can kind of see this throughout his art pieces um Matt McCormick also often uses um a mix of oil and acrylic paints as well as screen printing and stamps and charcoal and sometimes the occasional use of pencil I think this gives his art just such depth um a lot of his work is almost collage like and um or a combination of two vastly different pieces and I think this just also comes from his ideas of wanting to be creative and bring nostalgia of um what he calls almost like advertising in a way and what he used to see as a kid of like just big old motel signs and just the rundown but also the idea of trying to make it new and modern. Um, you can often easily spot his artwork because he uses um, a lot of everyday objects and um, bright, bright primary colors. Um, he also will occasionally use pastels, and I think it's cool because he often uses those in more his simplistic, just straight cowboy work art. Um, um, sorry, a little bit more 
continued about his art style is, well, after get, taking this class and getting a little bit more um, knowledge on like subjects of art styles, for me, I could possibly be wrong. I think a lot of his art can be seen almost in the realm of American realism or pop art um, mixed with just realism and surrealism, as you can kind of see in this like tornado um, painting right here, it gives like almost the idea of like something that you would see in a dream, uh, just with like the deep red and also the coolness of the blues. And it's just going through um, like a small town. Uh, I don't know, that's something I really admire about his work is how it he makes it look so realistic, even though you know that it's not real. And you, especially like in his sunsets and stuff, you know, you won't see those colors. Um, but also everything he paints kind of almost looks old and run down. But yeah, sorry. <laughs> and then um, along with this throughout his career, he's had some pretty famous commissions. I think this is where I've seen him grow the most. Um, I personally found him back in, I believe it was 2018 or 2019, I want to say. Um, but as I watched his art grow um, the most, probably in 2020. So, for example, in 2020, he started creating commissions for um, music artists. So, in this first one right here is the album cover for um, the American country artist Zach Bryan. Um, in 2020, he released his album Quiet Heavy Dreams. And um, in this album, he wanted it very simple. And this is one of his most well known album pieces. And as he's grown in popularity throughout the past few years, you can see this artwork more and more often and people searching and like almost re kind of recreating the style. I've seen people getting tattoos of this exact album cover. I don't know. I think it's very cool. And then in this one, I think is probably his most famous art piece, at least in general, for the people that don't listen to country music. Um, in March of 2020, he created the album cover for Don Tolliver's debut studio album, Heaven or Hell. Um, I personally really like this album. Uh, I love both of these artists so much, but I really like his album cover art for this as it's a combination of all of his art styles as it combines screen printing and charcoal and graphite work along with um, his oil painting. And overall, it mixes like landscape with his old 1950s style cars and headings but yeah and as I mentioned before I personally love him so much as an artist I'm really inspired by him so these are two of my favorite works um personal favorite works by him I have so many but these two just kind of stuck out to me um because they are just purely inspired by the simple cowboy life of the west not necessarily simple, but he tries to make it almost look simple. Um, the work on the right is screen printed with charcoal drawings. Um, and I personally love the screen print. And this just, I don't know, this is something I would literally just put in my room if I could possibly afford one of his paintings one day. Um, it's just so amazing and then the other one is just a pure charcoal drawing of um just on paper and I also see he posts a lot of him drawing drawings like this on like napkins and stuff and I don't know I really admire that about him as an artist is that um he can just draw these up anywhere and sometimes he'll just leave them in places, which I think is really cool. But the main thing that sticks out to me about the plain charcoal drawings is the words that he puts with them. Um, he is not a man of many words in real life. A lot of people have trouble interviewing him uh, because he just doesn't talk that much. He works in solitude. His, um, he has a warehouse that he works at 
in the very outskirts of LA where he only works with his dogs and listens to music and he very rarely likes to get interviewed unless he's has a um a sh art show or something um but when he does write words I think uh he truly just can speak to anyone I personally like this how it says the feeling remains even after the glitter fades I don't know somehow he just seems to speak right to me sorry for babbling on right there um but as I mentioned um I'm very inspired by him. And so here are some work pieces that I created um, inspired by him. On the right is a more digital screen printed art. I'm sorry, not the right. On the left, um, it's the cowboy and the cowboy like love story. Um, I created this for one of my art classes as like almost like an album cover style. Uh, and then in the middle was a I did completely with acrylic paint. I drew these both separately and then used Photoshop to combine them. Um, and so there's like the cowboy in the barn. And then um, this also had to do with that same art project of a um, creating an album cover. So this was my band name. It was a country band that I made up and it's called Cattleman Jack and the Ranch Hands. And then um, on the right, far right is a, um, recreation of one of his works. I did this with watercolor because I didn't have access to screen printing and then charcoal pencils. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed and um, that's the end. Thank you so much.